So, um, am I supposed to say I'm a showstopper? <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I'm happy to be here and present awards to two groups of people that I think are amazing. And um, my dear friend, Bob Mackey, once told me that if you're wearing something that you're not comfortable in, you're not going to pull it off and you'll be afraid. And so um, he said fashion is to be fun, not feared. And Patty Wilson is fearless. <laughs> I met Patty in my um, closet in Malibu, and we were, we were preparing for a, a Mac campaign. And it was so strange that when she walked in, I thought, this is a woman after my own heart. And, and I think that, I hope that it's the start of a long friendship. But Patty is gentle and kind, but she is fierce. And, you know, she has been a a force in, in fashion for such a long time, and I think underestimated and underapplauded. okay? Her, her, you know, she's so eclectic, and in, in our business, women, um, more than men, have a, a definite sell-by date. And so both of us have gone through you know, being told, you know, you're too old or you're not hip enough or roll over and let some young people come in and obviously neither one of us listened to that. So, um, but I think that she is one of the most amazing people in our business and I would like to honor her tonight with this a great award. And so, Patty, where are you? Come on out. This is pretty incredible. Thank you. I am, I'm thrilled to have my personal fashion icon here tonight. I have loved watching your incredible style evolve over the years. You are a woman who has pushed boundaries, always believed in your own power, and stood up for others with strength, grace, and a fucking great sense of humor. A humor. <laughs> Yeah. So, hello, everyone. I am honored to be here, and thank you to the CFDA for this award. Those of you who know me know that I'm more comfortable behind the scenes. So please bear with me, as this is really a new experience for me. And uh, <laughs> understand, OK. Um, I wouldn't be here today without those who have guided me throughout my life. I grew up going to Catholic school where I first developed a sense of fashion, a place where I spent more time taking in the over-the-top imagery of the church than I did studying. There was something dramatic about the nuns, love them. All that black and white, those raging, outrageous crosses. Uh, you could say that the Pope, whose wardrobe is the epitome of glamour, was my first muse. Honestly, I'm not kidding. <laughs> you know? At school, no one talked about color, yet being a black Trinidadian girl in a mostly white environment, <laughs> I knew there would be a world. I knew that recognizing all uniqueness and differences was incredibly important and incredibly interesting. When I was coming up in fashion, I was one of the few, if not um, only, black person in the room Everything was beginning to look the same, and I considered walking away completely from the industry. And it was at that point in the 90s that my dear friend and trailblazer, Edward Enningful, helped me fall back in love with styling when he brought me into ID Magazine. Edward, you have opened doors 
for those around you, breaking barriers and making fashion more representative of the world we live in. We love you for that. We really do. Now, nothing gives me more joy than to work side by side with talents of all colors, genders, and backgrounds. I've been lucky to work with many incredible women throughout my career, but one woman who truly changed my life is Franca Sassani. You all remember her. Yep. At David LaChapelle's insistence, Franca took a chance on me and commissioned us to do a story. It was the beginning of many years of collaboration with Italian Vogue. Franca was a woman of few words, just like me, but we understood each other perfectly. Years later, Italian Vogue gave me a column called Patty's Eyes. I have always loved to feature new designers in my stories, and this column gave me a, a chance to highlight them in an even bigger way. The creativity and diversity among new fashion designers today is so re uh, refreshing. Just look around this room. I think this is one of the things that keeps me going. There are so many artists, photographers, and creative directors who have brought me along this wonderful journey. I've been doing this for, so, for too many years to name all of them, but I would love to thank Francois Nas, Stephen Klein, David LaChapelle, Stephen Mizell, Sarah Moon, Nina Garcia, and Drew Elliott. We all know him. Mm -hmm. I'd also like to give a special thanks to all the young photographers who continue to inspire me, like Campbell Addy, Hugo Palm, Renel Mangiano, a woman, and she's fabulous. <laughs> and then so many others. Lastly, thank you to my team who works tirelessly to make it all happen. And thank you all for believing in me. This is amazing. Thank you.